Well, hello to everyone. This is Joanna, and today I have another haul from Bath & Body Works, as well as Macy's and TJ Maxx to share with you. I went out to get some candles, of course, because today, again, they were $14.50 with 20% off. I mean, I only got one hand soap, but the first two candles I'm going to share with you, as you can see, are the two that I got from online when they did that horrible, terrible packaging. This is the famous peanut butter and jelly. Um, I believe this is the candle to get this year instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It has a donut on it. I'm wondering if maybe this is a first run of this and maybe if they redo it and tweak it, they will put a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on here. Sort of like a strawberry scent, but this is getting different mixed reviews. Um, it's white wax and the notes on this are fresh strawberry jam, toasted bread, crunchy peanut butter, a drizzle of honey with essential oils. Now, we know that Bath & Body Works knows how to do peanuts because before Peanut Brittle came, they had that pistache, was it something pistache candle? I do have that somewhere in my stash of candles. But I went ahead and got this anyway. Only one review that I heard so far like this, and they're not even a candle reviewer at all. Um, the people who are candle reviewers didn't like it. Some did, but they said you have to give it a minute. And some say that maybe the cologne note is the honey and strawberry note, so I don't know. Whether this one is good or bad, I'm going to keep it, um, and I probably won't be lighting it right now anyway because we know I don't light my candles right away, and I don't light candles in the summer, which is why I myself don't do many reviews. I may do reviews on a candle or two, but for the most part, if you type in peanut butter and jelly, a whole lot of people got reviews on it. And as we all know, we all have different scents. So even if I don't like something, I always know that someone else may. Same thing if I hear someone say they don't like something, it might be something that I like. I will say I was in the store today. They had some of the fall, the rest of the fall line out. They had the green lily, I'm sorry, lily and green tea. I love that when it was the green tea fragrance that I was looking for. They had the rose water and ivy. I did not get to spray that one, but many are looking forward to that one. They also had the praline and pear, which I'm wondering whether or not it's going to be close to the brown sugar and pear. I don't even care. I do plan on getting a full set of it and a full set of the lily and green tea. That one definitely gets full set status for me, even though I said I was going to be good. So I got this. And again, I don't get peanut out of this at all. On cold sniff, to me, this actually smells like a very light version of one of my cologne type candles. So I don't get the Amber Crombie cologne. And I, at first, I thought that I got a very light sniffing of my um, cedarwood candle. But not necessarily. It could very well be the Honey and the Sweet. And this could be one of those candles that I myself will have to light to see. So, the no another one I was excited about was this one. I have only ordered these two candles and I showed the video for how that occurred. That was not good. I do want the pumpkin pie. I think the next time I place a candle order, I will probably order at least four because I want at least three pumpkin pies, but I plan on ordering two pumpkin pies and two of something else, but not yet. But we have banana and cream. This one is fresh banana slices, whipped cream, scoop of peanut butter, cookie crumble crust, they all say with essential oils. I do get banana out of this. Um, I actually make a banana cream pie. And this to me smells more along the lines of banana pudding, banana candy. But again, I have not lit it. But I am very happy to have both of them. Um, another one, because our store does not have all of the fall candles. They don't just only not have the online exclusives but the ones like the farmhouse and the apple weather and all that they don't have those however they had this so it's been my goal to go ahead and get one of each one of the ones that they do have and as far as the ones that i already have one of or anything that gets released yearly i will take my chances candle day you guys have heard me say that and a lot of these i can smell a lot better when i get home this one is pumpkin clove. It is clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, fresh pumpkin. They all say with essential oils. And I do feel like I can smell all of that in here. I feel like when I light this though, the cinnamon may be what comes out. And then I got salted butterscotch. So I have my caramel and I have my butterscotch. Now this one smells like butterscotch to me. I do have the, um, the bourbon whatever the bourbon one is, salted 
butterscotch and bubble. I don't even know what it's called, but it's the one that came out with the packaging that was geared toward men. This does not smell like that to me. I do love this packaging right here. And the salted butterscotch is warm brown sugar, sweet cream, and a pinch of sea salt with melted butter. Now, I definitely do smell butterscotch out of this candle right here. I really do. And I do like the scent on cold, which is all that I'm going by, you guys. So don't take my word for anything. If you think you will like one of these, go ahead and sniff it out for yourself. Because I'm partial to my pumpkin coconut candle, I had to have this one. I did go after my fox and they sold out of them. So they said they may get some more. If they do, I'll get two so that I can have them like bookends. I said the same thing about the mermaid, but they sold out of the mermaid, but I was able to get one. But the fox is really, really cute. And they do look like bookends and they're very pretty to display this on because they only had two to start. And they should have really been sent a box of six because, of course, that is going to be a popular item. So coconut macaroon, or I don't even know. I hear there's macaron, macaroon, macaroon. I don't know. So I'm going to stay out of that one. There is toasted coconut, fresh baked cookie, vanilla bean with a touch of spice. And this definitely has a coconut scent. Not a very sharp, strong one, but it does not smell like my coconut pumpkin. That was another candle that was like the toasted graham and like the pumpkin vanilla. It smelled more rich once you lit it. So this could be, if it is, I'm going to go back and get another one of these and the Irish cream. So these already are the two that I know that I may return to get. So the last thing that I got was I got one single lone hand soap. They had pumpkin cupcake, but I have some of those from the last release. So unless I give those as gifts and I didn't feel like spending $23, it probably would have made more sense for me to go ahead and get five, but that was okay. So this one is fresh picked strawberries, orange zest, and bergamot. And of course, this is the new scent, strawberry tart. There will be some more new soaps coming because I even thought about maybe getting those and exchanging out. But I usually only exchange things, you know, when I'm really after something that I can't get. So that's the end of my Bath and Body Works. If you would like to see my Macy's and my TJ Maxx, stay tuned. The Macy's and the TJ Maxx is mostly gifts. So I'm going to try to share this with you. And I don't know how well I'll be able to do since I'm sitting here. This item right here is one of those little hooded towels. You guys have heard me say that I am putting together cancer care boxes for two people that I know, one being family friend and the other one being my cousin. They both are going through, um, their illness is different. Like they both have, um, a type, but each one has a different illness. Um, and I had asked them if they would mind if I made them a box. I told them what I was going to be including in it. And I have shared that on here with you as well. But I also have a friend that just got married she doesn't know what they would like as a couple, and I don't want to be presumptuous, so I've been trying to hint around and find out if they have a favorite restaurant or anything like that. And my other friend that got married um, that I took off for the wedding is going to be expecting a baby. So I thought I would get this, and there's going to be more things added with this, but this was a really cute hooded towel set. So this is for her. And then the pajamas that I got, and I hope that these will be okay. And I'm going to share this with you guys. I intend to put together in my comfort care box. The following items will be the same for each person. And then I'll do some things to differentiate it. But pajamas um, are the first thing. And some house shoes. And I want to make sure I'm really careful here. This is the print of one pair of the pajamas. So one will go to my cousin. And one will go to the family friend. And I wanted to get them cotton. Um, my one, my cousin actually requested short sleeves. So that's what this is. And then the other print, well, I can't put that there either. The other print will be for out of town. And that's the part that kind of has me worried because my cousin is local. So I can put hers in a box. Like I said, I want to get some of those nice boxes that they have at Michael's or at TJ Maxx. They didn't have those nice boxes today. These are the ones that are going out of town. So, and I was kind of conflicted about what to get. Now I will get matching house shoes for each of these. And then I got journals for each one. 
Um, and then what items will be the same will be the house shoes, the pajamas, the journals, um, a hand mask, the hyaluronic lotion and the Coco Shea lotion because I was told those were good for people going through chemotherapy. Um, and then they'll differentiate a little bit in, I want to send tea and if one likes coffee, but I want to send that Tazzo tea. This right here is just coffee I got for myself. I needed coffee. This was sitting right there. It wasn't even where it's supposed to go. So I got it. However, I have found, um, I think Coupon Girl is the one that got me to drink in the 1850 coffee by Folgers. And um, was it... I'm not saying this name right, Wisty Sky, and I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that because I can't look on my phone because I'm recording on it. But one told me um, about that stronger one that had the gold label or the Pioneer or something like that. And then Coupon Girl actually showed the Lantern Wren or Lantern, Lord have mercy, I'm getting all mixed up because... Lantern Wren might be my nail stamping plate, people, but don't pay any attention to me. Just know that two people <laughs> made me try that coffee, and I really do like it because it is strong enough to withstand the cream. Some coffee, I think when I put cream in it, it weakens it, and I'm not necessarily a coffee drinker, but sometimes when I prefer a strong coffee, I prefer a strong coffee, and I don't want it weakened by the creamer, and those 1850 coffees, they stand up to your creamer. Now, the only thing I got for myself this go-round was while I was in Marshalls, I saw this NARS brush, and it is called the NARS Wet Dry Eyeshadow Brush Number 49. I do have a palette that has a brush with it, and I also have a little duo that has the purple and the green, so I thought I would get this brush. I wasn't expecting to find a NARS um, brush in there. There are other NARS eyeshadow palettes that I do want, but I figure I need to stop and slow down because I don't use half the eyeshadow that I have and I'm trying to rectify that now. I do have journals for both ladies. This one will be for my cousin who told me that she would really like a journal to write stuff down in. And I plan on finishing these boxes hopefully by the end of this month or by the beginning of next month because I did not find the house shoes that I wanted. I want to get a lip treatment for one and some blank chapsticks and things like that. But I do plan on completing these. Um, probably the one that goes out of town first because I have to mail it. The only problem is I want to make it a comfort care box, but it has to be a box that will fit into the USPS box. Or I'll put a pretty um, maybe bag in the box and then I'll have to ship everything in the box. Um, that person's daughter, my good friend, Stephanie knows that that box will be coming and she's the one that I've been contacting. And my cousin, of course, I can reach her here locally. So the last two items that I got were cups and this cup right here is going to my cousin. Now, I don't know if she likes tea or coffee. I also don't know if, you know, there's a preference because when I get sick, the first thing I turn to is tea. But in case my cousin might just like coffee, um, I went ahead and got this cup. It says, stand firm, be courageous, be strong. And I guess that's 1 Corinthians 16, 13. I think she would like that, like that message. And this little cup was $3.99. So I'm going to put that over here. And then the next cup is the beginning of what I want to get for my married friend. Someone suggested that I go ahead and get those kind of gift cards where they can use it for what they want. And that might be what I do because she just got married. Um, I don't even know if it's been three months yet and she's not sure. Like, you know, you usually try to give something for both people. You want something they can enjoy, maybe a dinner gift card or a shopping gift card or just something to something they can go to together. But they're so newlywed, she's not sure of that yet. So I will probably go ahead and get one of those nice bank Visa or MasterCards and give that. But I wanted to include something in this and this says the missus. So I thought that would be nice. Um... And that was all that I got. And also the same for my friend. We had a Babies or Us here. And I don't think there are many baby stores left here. There's a Carter's. So I figured I would get her a gift card for her baby somewhere. Or hers might be that MasterCard Visa too. But it, I like to get mine from a bank when it's a gift. I don't like to get the cards, you know, that you see at Walgreens and all that. Because usually you've got to do something with those. You've got to set them up. And then, you know, money comes off of them. I don't like those for gift giving. I like them for myself or if someone personally I know, you know, they like those, then I get them. But for the most part, I try to give 
you know, a gift card that someone can use just like it is, you know, a credit card or whatever. So that is all that I got. And I just wanted to share that. And again, some of you have said that you wanted to know what I was going to be putting into these boxes. Um, the one that's going to be local, if you would like to see me put that together, I will try to do that on here. Um, I used to use shrink wrap and I used to find baskets and I don't know. And a lot of times I would say something was going to be a gift bag and then it would turn into a basket. So a lot of times when I say something, it turns into something else. But in this case, it is going to be a box locally. If I can find another one of those boxes, like the little one I showed on Instagram where I said Marshall's had pictures and boxes. Apparently those boxes don't last. I have not been in Michael's in years, but that'll probably be the first place that I start because I want a beautiful decorated box and I want to find them ink pens and I want to include adult coloring books and the pencil, sort of like what I had, like what I did my giveaway with. And if any of you out there have family with cancer or um, anything like that, if you know, because I don't know everything. And I don't want to pry. And when they're having good days, I don't want to bring about bad. But if you know of any snacks that they like maybe eat, because sometimes when I'm sick, I can still eat certain things. So if there's anything you'd like to suggest, um, that would definitely be welcome. Um, so far, I've got the pajamas and the lotion that I want to give them. I just need to get some house shoes. And I want to get another one of those Laneige lip treatments like what I had for myself. And the, the grapefruit one is going out of town. Um, I might make the other one agave. I don't know. I wanted to put some nice items in there. I also want to put some little trinket type things in there. I might include a keychain. But if any of you have any suggestions, I welcome that because I know a lot of you like myself, um, you give to cancer things or you actually work with people with cancer. Because I'm in Alzheimer's um, at my job, should that occur, most of those people leave and go to another part of the building or another you know, facility. If they don't usually like, I haven't been around anyone who has Alzheimer's and has cancer. I do know that happens, but most of the time in my line of work, they leave. So um, I do learn a lot, you know, from other people. So if there's anything you'd like to suggest, I welcome that. And again, until the next time, everyone have a great day.